Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to disinfect your humidifier. I just have the Vicks brand here and this should work for almost any humidifier but you do want to check the instructions on your humidifier here but I've seen this done with all different types as well. First things first, you want to unplug, <laughs> unplug it. I have some gloves here because we are going to be dealing with bleach and it does dry out my skin. One teaspoon of bleach per one gallon of water. One teaspoon per about one gallon of water. Now I did not have a gallon jug. We don't drink um, a whole ton of milk in my family here. So what I did is I had this measuring cup and there are 16 cups in one gallon. So that's what I have measured out here. And then I just have some Clorox bleach, this lemon fresh scent. You can use whatever bleach that you have on hand. If you are new here, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, Andrea Jean one. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits and this cleaning channel is one way that I do that. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to mix our solution together here. I also do have a newsletter in the description box as well if you want to learn more. Okay, so we got one teaspoon. It's going to measure that here. Jump that in. We'll mix that around shortly. And then I'm going to show you how to take this bad boy apart because there are several little intricacies to it. So we'll go ahead and just set this aside. Now, as far as taking this apart, let me show you probably the best and easiest way to do that is I like to take the top off like so. And then what I'll do is I'll just set this aside. Helps if you have a little bigger area to do this in. And then you're just gonna go ahead and dump the base out. Careful not to get the cord in there. And you can see in mine, it is pretty disgusting. Now I did just create a video that will be linked in the description box below about how to clean your humidifier that naturally with vinegar, which you know that I love being um, pregnant to get all of that gunk out as well, all of that buildup. And I try to do that about once a week. As far as this bleach solution, I would say about monthly or you know, whenever you really think about it. I have two of these humidifiers in my home because I am in Wisconsin and uh, it does get pretty dry here. So this top part just slips off like that, essentially twists off, and then inside here there's actually another part. You can see that, and this just pops right off. And you can see, hopefully the camera will pick it up. There's a lot of buildup in there as well. So we're just gonna put these little pieces aside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. And there's a twist off here. My husband tends to put on super tight, so let's see if I can get it this time. Oh! Let me grab this. Oh, my goodness. Normally it shouldn't be this tight, you guys. <laughs> he just like really cranks it on there. Oh, got it. <laughs> All right, pull that off like so. And then we'll go ahead and dump the water out. We're gonna save this because I'm gonna show you a little trick here in a second. But if you look inside, disgusting. <laughs> this is where the gloves are going to come in handy. Let me move some things around here. There we go. That's my husband hearing me talk about him. <laughs> Get these bad boys on. Okay, so we take our pitcher here or your gallon, whatever you have on hand, and then you're just gonna fill this up right to the brim so that everything is immersed in our solution. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take these two little parts here and I'm just gonna dump them in this as well so that they can get disinfected along with everything else. I'll carefully move this part to the side. And then here we have our tank. There are two parts to this as well. There's like a little rubber, 
um, section here onto the lid. I'm gonna take the remaining of my solution and I'm gonna dump it right in here. Fill that up. The next thing that I'm going to do, oh, I should have saved a little bit, but we'll recover. I'll show you something else here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on. And now I'm just gonna shake it because I really wanna get it in all sides of this. You can see it's leaking there on me. So it helps to do this over a kitchen sink or a sink like this or over your bathtub. Okay. One last thing. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Santa bowl here. Just gonna twist this off. I'm gonna pour a little bit of the solution into the bowl. Now I could have done this ahead of time. Perfect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this top and the little rubber thing here inside the bowl so that it can all disinfect. Perfect. Now I'm gonna let everything sit here for about 15 to 20 minutes. And we come back, we'll go ahead and clean everything up and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so everything has been sitting for about 15, 20 minutes or so. And I just have a little washcloth right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down and we're gonna rinse it out. And I will show you that. Just grab some of the solution here. Clean the insides up. Get any of that scale that has built up. Like so. Now if you are looking for some more cleaning motivation and videos, I have a whole ton in the description box all about cleaning uh, oven racks, cleaning your grout, cleaning your bathtub, essentially cleaning anything in your house. I even did a video where I cleaned the top of the stove um, with a variety of different substances. <laughs> I'll have that linked as well. I did a video on cleaning the grates on the top of your stove. That was a fun one. So everything's coming off pretty nicely here. And again, I would say I would do this about once a month with this bleach solution. Nice. Okay, I'm just dumping everything and then the next step is we're gonna rinse everything. Like so. Here's the top. There's a little buildup on there. And then this little rubber stopper thing. Get that wiped down. And then we'll grab our big tank here. And I'm just gonna swish this around again. And go ahead and dump that out. Perfect. Now inside your tank, there's probably a little lever like so. And if you push that, you can get water to come out through that and you want it to so that it can sanitize the little crevices inside there as well. All right, let's bring everything over the tub and we'll go ahead and rinse it out really, really well. Now when I do this, I'm gonna use pretty warm water, not scolding hot, not cold. And I'm gonna keep the cord out of there as best as I possibly can. So this whole process shouldn't take you any more than 30 minutes. The last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this washcloth here and I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down the insides of this as best as I possibly can. And then I'll show you a little trick here in a second. Good. Now as far as getting the inside of this, what you could do is, this washcloth is pretty thick, but you can twirl it up like so, and then you can bring it through here. Let's see if this washcloth will let me do it. Yep, perfect. And then you can just kind of 
pull it back and forth in here to clean that part out. Or if you had a kitchen brush of some sort or a brush that you may use to clean um, baby bottles. <laughs> I have three kids, one on the way, so we got plenty of those supplies around here. I will have everything set here on the towel. Now you can let it air dry like I'm going to do here, or you can go ahead and dry everything up, put it back together, and start running your humidifier like you normally would. But this is an excellent way to disinfect your humidifier with a product that you have laying around your house, which is bleach. But if you wanna see that video about how I clean this with vinegar, I'm gonna have that linked in the description box as well. Thank you for being here. Be sure to check out those playlists. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new for all of your cleaning and organizing motivation. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.